Uh, good morning everybody. Today we're working on this uh, Mercedes SUV here. I'll tell you what model it is because I forgot. Anyways, so there's some dirt and stuff up in the wheel wells inside the wheels themselves and the barrel portion is pretty dirty. Um, we'll get these running boards cleaned up, get some solution finish on these trim pieces here because they're looking a little rough. Uh, of course back here inside the barrel portion of the wheels rough also. It's not terribly dirty by any measure, but it does have a lot of dirt overall. Uh, a lot of a lot of dirt and such in the V pillar there in the door jams. A little bit of dirt in here. Again, not terrible. Uh, a couple little little dirt items. Uh, the owner said there was some. Uh, let's let's check it out. He said there was some stuff in here that was of concern. So we're going to make sure we address that. Let's get around to the back of it. Of course, there's just a little bit of dirt here and there, a little bit everywhere, and in that trunk jam. Said there was something spilled back here and that it was a little bit wet. We'll make sure we address that as well. Of course, in this rear hatch jam, there's some dirt and such back there. If your car has a ceramic coating, you don't have to worry about bird poop as much, but the acid from the bird bombs it definitely does a number on your paint so it's a very important thing to get that taken care of as soon as possible uh, down here uh, they picked up somebody that had some dirt on their feet and they didn't get their feet cleaned off very well before they got in the car and again not terrible but yeah a little bit rough and kind of the same scenario over here just a little bit of dirt here and there a little bit of stuff uh, there's some items that need to be removed from the door jam as well a little bit of dirt down here let's get this engine compartment open and let you check that out all right for the engine compartment there's a little bit of dust and stuff in those screens those will pop out and blow the dirt out from the back side a lot easier uh, otherwise not too bad i always thought the engine bays especially in the uh, v8 or v12 mercedes uh, it looks like the heart of a transformer let me know what you think about that a little bit of dirt on the insulation we'll get that blown off and try not to blind you with the light there underneath side of the hood's dirty we're going to get all that changed here over the course of today uh, i got a little bit more time to spend on this when the owner wants it to look as presentable as possible so we're going to do what we do get all this mess taken care of have this thing looking like a proper new car and if you're about tired of these darn bugs i am too all right let's get to work All right, we are all done with this car. Uh, it's been a little bit, a few hours, but got it back to looking good. Uh, everything in the inside here has been cleaned. The underneath side of the hood, along with the insulator. Got all those bugs out of there. Them bugs were nasty. Got the wheel wells cleaned out. Inside of the barrel portion of the wheels, Alongside the door jams. Down here along the bottom. Went over all this black trim with solution finish. Get that looking great again. Get everything taken care of in there. Down in the cup holders. And in the center console there. That was a portion that the owner was concerned with into the door jams all in through there I had a little bit of dirt on it wasn't horrible by any means but a 
take you around and show you the other side momentarily. We did all four wheels with Easy Armor Tire Coating. That will last probably 1,500 plus miles and it will never sling, so you don't have to worry about the product going away and slinging off and getting on to your paintwork. That is ugly when it happens, but it won't happen with Easy Armor. That, and it'll stay that nice little bit of glossiness there. Got inside the filler cap area clean. Remember all this area back here that had that uh, gravel, whatever it was? Yeah, that's not bad. Underneath the seats there, there was a couple surprises like french fries and a little bit of dirt. Inside these uh, door pockets are good now. Close that up. Uh, there again, solution finish along the black trim here. Get that nice and restored. Makes that black pop again. Looks wonderful. All right. We'll close these doors up and get around the rest of the outside of the car. Of course, down there along the lower lips of the doors are good. And back to the engine bay. I'll close this hood down. Let you see the front of that. All right. Looking beautiful as ever. Thank you so much for watching. If you stuck with me this long, hit the like button, hit the share button, let somebody else know about us. And if you will, leave a comment down below and tell us what you think. Until next time, thank you so much for watching.